Hello, I'm Christopher Mose. And I'm Sabine Schoenberg here with another edition of Smart, Healthy and Green News. Hello, first up today we have a new hybrid system that's taking advantage of the full spectrum of solar. It really could be a potential breakthrough. That's what we've been looking for in solar technology. The bandwidth has always been the limiting factor, and this might just get us out of that box that we've been living in in solar technology. So when we talk about solar technology in comparison with wind or other alternative fuels, it's really talking about the efficiency in which it's able to capture energy and spread it out. Yeah, so there are many devices, you've heard us speak about some, that track the sun, but it's still capturing the same bandwidth. This is actually the expansion of the bandwidth itself, which is really, really exciting. That will be the breakthrough in SOA. So check out the article on our website for more information. It'll be something that we'll be definitely keeping an eye on as the technology continues to evolve and potentially positively impacts this area. Next, we have some interesting research that's being done um, around a new type of concrete material that actually can bend as opposed to breaking. This could have some implications in home construction. Yeah, and it also can be then a way of bending and prefabricating certain slabs. All kinds of architectural elements really can come into play with this. I think there's great potential, and the idea that it's no longer brittle, breaking, then letting water come in, this is very interesting. I think we will hear more about this. Finally today, we wanted to share with you a cool product that we discovered. It's Maso bags. Yeah, we've had this in different testing settings. So you had it in your refrigerator. I can't believe how well this bag works as a, compared to like just, you know, what we usually use in a refrigerator, baking soda. Which this bag is about the same size as baking soda. It's not huge, doesn't take up a lot of room. And, and you had dramatic generates. results. Yeah, um, so we have, you know, in my fridge, I've always got onions and I've got all of these different fruits and vegetables. And, you know, all those odors can start to mix together and kind of get to be a little discerning in the fridge. But I'm amazed. I open up the door with the maso bag in there and it's, it's fresh. You don't smell all of those odors. It's fresh. It's neutralized. The food even tastes better. Well, that's a plus. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I had it in my laundry room, which is uh, in my basement, actually, and it was always a little damp. So I thought, what a cool thing. I also noticed they had a little punched hole there. So I actually hung it, thinking maybe that would do something with a 360. And by golly, I think there is an improvement there. Any smell, not that I had much of a smell anyway, but... It's just better. The air quality in there feels better. One of the things that we particularly liked about this product was the fact that it is able to kind of regenerate itself. So yeah. once, you know, about every couple months, they suggest to take it outside or put it in a window and let it sit in the sun for a few hours. This allows this charcoal bamboo that's inside the bag to allow it to release the odors that it's captured and regenerate itself so that it can be used again and again and again for about two years. And when we, what we love, sustainability and renew, renewable stuff, is this doesn't go in the garbage when you're done with it. It's a natural product. You just open up the bag, toss it in your garden, and it will continue to nourish plants in your garden once it's gone through its life cycle of a Perfect. couple of years. And you will buy another muscle bag after that because that product is something we just stumbled across it and now that we've tested it, I don't think I ever want to be without another muscle bag. It's fantastic. So check it out. We have an article on the website with more details. It's definitely something to look at. Maybe a stocking stuffer this year. Good idea. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our recent project, The Greenwich House. You can find more information on what we talked about today at sabinesnewhouse.com.